to begin, you'll find a neutral pelvis. Um, it's a little bit hard to identify a neutral pelvis in this position, but I, one of the markers I like to use are the, the, hip, the hip bones, or the pelvic bones, actually, the ASIS, you can feel them, and the pubic bone. And those three bones make a triangle. And if you were to sort of imagine them in a plane, you'd want that plane to be parallel to the ceiling and the floor. So for most of the population, that means you're going to have to tilt a little bit more onto the tailbone side, just a little bit more. Excellent. That was perfect and subtle. So now I want Christine to imagine that she has like a hot cup of coffee or yogi tea or glass of wine, <laughs> if it was me. And she doesn't want that to spill. So most of the time when we do bridge, the first thing we do is shift our pelvis. So I want you to really imagine that, that, that you don't want to spill a single drop. It's very valuable. That wine is very important. And you'll start to press into your feet to start to lift up without spilling. So you're not going to go very high. You're going to go a lot lower than you're used to. Yep, and do you feel your glutes working here? So it's a, it, it's a really nice way to challenge your glutes. As soon as your pelvis tucks, it changes it a little bit. And then, then from here, you can actually start adding progressions. You're going to have to lift a little bit more from here. Tilt your pelvis this way more, this way more. Nope, come on down. <laughs> Okay, let's try again. Neutral pelvis, you've got a cup of tea here. Slowly lift. 